what is up and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to get ready. We are going to be using all the blue ColourPop eyeshadows that I have. A blue is like really hard to kind of use. So honestly, I'm not a big fan of using the color blue to start off with. But we're going to give it a shot. We're going to try this out. Plus, I know the Coachella vibes are going around. So I was like, you know what? Let's put some blue on. Let's do some blue. Have my hair back and let's get our skin prepping so i'm going to start off by moisturizing my face and i'm going to be using the olay regenerous deep hydration our primer this is going to be the one and only argan oil micro blur cream so we're going to put a nice amount it's actually a little bit a lot we're going to put this all over our face all right once we have that's going on we're going to apply our foundation I'm going to be mixing these two babies. This is going to be the, it's a Makeup Revolution from London True Blend Matte Foundation. Now, when you're using matte foundations, you want to make sure that, one, you have moisturizer under because a matte foundation will dry up your skin, especially if you have dry skin like myself when I have acne. Alrighty now, so once we have done blending out our foundation, now, I do have a little bit of peekaboo going on, especially when it comes with my acne. Definitely, these are up, these are buildable to full coverage. So if you want to just add a little bit more onto it, I'm I'm okay with the peekaboo because then it shows you that my face isn't perfect. So I'm okay with them. But if you're not, just it's okay to add a little bit more to build onto it. Now all we're gonna do is set our face, and I'm gonna be using the flower. This is the satin one, and it definitely gives like a little bit of shine onto it. So I'm just going to be adding a little bit here. I really don't like how this is made. It's a little bit hard to take out the product. Definitely think they should have worked with that with a better stiffer, but hey. Flexinair, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's really, really, really like this one. Look at that. We're going to be using a fan brush, which is going to... Kind of go like in an awkward angle and press up. And then we're going to apply on our cheek. Ooh, she's very pigmented. We're also going to go ahead and add Over the Moon by ColourPop, which is kind of like a pinky. It's one of my favorite ones, actually. All right, now, now that we have this going on, I haven't removed the powder that's around my face just because we're going to kind of go in with the ColourPop, and I haven't messed around with ColourPop in a really, really, really long time. So I'm not sure how this is going to end up being, but by any means, let's get started. We're going to start off with two blues. I'm going to go more of blue on this side and more green on this side. So I'm going to go with the softest blue that I have, which is called Taco, and it's like a very matte baby blue. I'm going to go ahead and just grab it with my finger. OMG. Okay, Taco. And we're just going to apply this very lightly. Belladonna. Now we're going to go in with a little bit more of a brightness going on. So on this side, I'm going to be using Zoom Shift. We're going to go ahead and use a brush for this one. Let's rotate the brush. Just awkward angle again. And we're just going to up this snapdragon same brush awkward angle all I did was flip it on the other side alrighty now that we're looking pretty cray cray and I'm gonna grab another denser brush okay and this one actually has like a lot of glitter specks on it and let's just go ahead and go in wow that's very very pigmented. For this side, we're gonna go ahead and use Cusp. I think that's how you pronounce this one. Alrighty now, as we can see, the blue is definitely more pigmented than the green. But it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna work our way around this. Now, in the bottom of my blue, I'm gonna be using coconut, which coconut's like a really dark, rich, um, it's a really dark, rich blue, so I'm gonna put that under my eye. 
Alrighty now, so this is how our blue eyes looking. We're gonna go ahead and grab greens from another palette and I'll be right back. Alrighty now, so now that we're looking pretty cray cray, we're gonna go ahead and apply our eyeliner, apply our lashes, and um, apply some lipsticks. And we're gonna fix these brows into something magical. I'll see you beauties in a bit. And we are back. This is my finishing look. I ended up just putting Kiss eyelashes in Bon Dior. Bon B O U Dior. And I have on my lips, I ended up going dark because I was like, you know what? We have a lot of things going on. We have glitter, we have glitter. And then, I mean, we have like super highlight and we got like bright colors. I was like, let me put a dark lipstick. Like, why freaking not? So on my lips, I do have. Wicked Throne from my homegirl, and this is from Glamour Queens. I'll be leaving her link down below. And then I have a choker on. I ended up putting a little bit of Fenty because I didn't want to use a lot since after this, I'm technically going to bed. But don't forget, after Coachella, you guys, you want to be like, like, hella highlighted. Like, yes, come through Fenty. So what do you guys think? Definitely you guys can amp up this look by adding some more glitter on your hair, adding a beautiful piece here, beautiful piece here. You know, it just depends on how festive you want to go. It's always all up to you. I like the dark smokiness. I mean, I love the dark colors and that's always something that I prefer using to be honest. I'm not really much of a bright type of gal. So this is pretty bright for me and then this just gives me like that nice dark set of look. Plus some dark lipstick, dark colors, bright hair. Perfect. Literally, it took me so long to do the space buns. But I think they came out pretty decent. Not the best. This is actually my first time doing them. So let me know how does... Let me know what you guys think about my space buns. How do they look? Are they look decent? Do they not? Let me know. Comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of getting glammed up for... Coachella vibes. I'm not really sure how I'm going to name this video, but it's all about using ColourPop. And ColourPop does have a lot of beautiful colors out there. They have a lot of pigment going on. I don't have the full collection, unfortunately, but I do have a lot of the colors. And they're very long-lasting. They are... Um, I want to say the bright red ones are more stainful than anything else. Ooh, there's something itchy. The bright colors, like pink, the red ones are pigmented. AF that they're willing to stain your eyelids but these really aren't and I really do love the color selections that I currently have and of course I will be buying more this is not sponsored by them hopefully one day maybe comment down below you guys what do you guys think how does this look and then for my eyebrows as you can see they're colored I ended up using their lipstick um I remember back then I used to color my eyebrows too hmm probably be doing that again and then I have a little bit of glitter on my brow bone, brow bone, brow bone. And it's just like something just like pop of color, you know, you know, you know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on my Instagram as well at JulesJulieEt. And I'll see you beauties in my next one.